Okay, uh, how you doing? Well, today, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to work on my mast. I've got pretty much most of the boat parts done. And uh, the way uh, the plans show you to start the mast is you take a couple 2x8s. And these are the 2x8s that I've been using. And uh, they're clear. And this one has one knot in the edge. But other than that, it's it's clear. And what you do is you you glue them together, one on top of the other. And uh, when I glued them one on top of the other, I, I clamped it all along the, the length of it. But uh, to keep the boards from sliding around while you're trying to clamp, what I did on each end of the the uh, the two by fours, I drilled a small hole, dropped the nail through, so I keep everything perfectly aligned. Otherwise, it's trying to like it's it's like trying to stand on ice. It's real slippery. The boards want to misalign and everything else. So if you ever do anything like this, that's an easy way to to get it, get rid of that, or, you know, stop that from happening. Then the very next thing I had to do was I had to draw a line down the center of the the center of the glued glued together pieces. And at different intervals, the plans had different widths. So I had to measure from the center and divide that width in half and put half on each side of the center line. Then I went and struck a line. I nailed a little strip on here, or what they call a batten. And uh, I drew a line and I put it up on my table saw and I cut her down. And so this is the result of that. Okay, and you can see it's, it's one and a half inches here. And if I take it all the way down to the very bottom, okay, you can see it, it gets larger as we get along here, okay? And then it tapers way down again because I've got to make this round to fit in this front post here, this front hole, okay? There's a hole there. I've got a chunk of wood and a dowel in there right now. I haven't fastened it to the floor, but that's what the... Um, that's what the uh, mast goes into. So now I've got to take this square mast that I've made, it's tapered, and I've got to round it off. And the way they show you to do that in the, in the, um, in the plans is to make a little jig. And this here is the little jig I've made. And basically, let me hold it up here so you can see it. Basically, it's two dowels see it very well. Two dowels and the things sticking out the top are two pencils and basically I've just kind of drilled a hole in there. All right, But to position the pencils that's the most critical part. Okay, And the way you do that is, is uh, you go ahead and you cut a little square. I cut a little square block of wood. Okay, And here's a little square. Okay now that's the exact size of the widest of part of the mast. This is the widest part of the mast. So then what you do is you lay a circle on top of that so it just touches the edges. Okay? After you get done doing that, what you do is you take your builder square, okay? Take a builder square such as this, okay? And you set this alongside, all right? You set that alongside like so. There's your block of wood. I'm not so sure this is coming out so good. Okay, let me flip this over. Let me see here. How do I do that? I'm just trying to think. Okay. So anyway, you slide this. You slide this along. You slide this along with the straight edge of the square against this sole of the square until this just barely misses that circle, and you draw a line. And you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now, I don't know whether you can see it very well. I'll get in a little closer. But you can see there's a point there where it goes off and a point there it goes off. These are the center points where you want to drill your holes for your pencil. Okay. And then, your dowels, for the dowels, you want to make it about a quarter inch wider on both sides. Okay, just in case your wood isn't cut equally, okay? But you make it about a quarter inch wider than this, this block, okay? 
Okay, and then that's what you come up with, is you come up with, uh, where's it at? You come up with this jig, okay? So now what you do with the jig, is you set it down over the top of this thing like that, all right? You make sure you cock it so the dowels are touching, okay? The dowels are touching, and as you move this along, you'll see you've got three equal spaces. Okay, you see a line here and a line there. And you go and you go and you run down all four sides of the mass like that. And so what you're going to do then is you're going to take a block plane and you're going to plane those corners off to these lines. So if I did it on this side, let me see if I can do it on this side. I'll just run it. Come on. This side. Get that. Get that to slide. It's kind of hard to do it one hand. See, I'm not so really sure I'm doing this correctly. Do it one like that. I think I broke my point. I have to resharpen that pencil. But I can swap it over and it'll do the same. Okay, so I've got my three spaces there. I have to resharpen that pencil, like I say. But as long as the dials are touching, you're going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a block plane and I'm going to plane this portion off here. Okay, now that's going to give me an eight-sided figure. And then what I'll do is I'll go down the center of each one of those eight sides and strike a line right down the center of them. And then what I will do is uh, plane those points off, and that will give me a 16-sided. And then from there, I can pretty much just round it off by eye. So that's how you make a mast. I hope I was clear on that. It's... Uh, it's kind of a difficult thing to hold the camera and, and show you how to do it, but uh, it's quite simple. It's not too bad. I've got to chew it up a little bit. I've got a few waves in there because I cut this taper down on my table saw, which really isn't made to handle a 10-foot board. I had to use some saw horses for some ports and a couple other things, but, uh, but I cut the taper. So that's where I'm at. So the next film will be showing the finished mast. And hopefully uh, that might be this afternoon. Okay? Well, I hope this film turned out okay. And I hope you understand. If you have any questions, send me a, a little message and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay? Have a good day.